I'm an EMT in New York City, and um, there, there's plenty of stories that are uh, always relevant and never appropriate to share because of HIPAA. Um, but uh, in the last few months, I've been working with a, a gentleman that's just has been the perfect partner. Um, he's the perfect balance of uh, do no harm, take no shit. And uh, he, he's just been wonderful to work with. And, and he's been doing this for, I think, 13 years. Um, and he's been just everything that one could hope for as a, as a partner at work. Um, but we got to a point that, uh, I, or we went to a call that I guess we, we both learned that uh, what our limits are and so we went out for a for a kid who was having a real hard time breathing and um, and he freaked the fuck out um, and I guess we we both just sort of learned what our what our hard limits were uh, I've never seen him get like that and um, And I guess panic is contagious. So, you know, I saw him start to freak out and then I started to freak out. And uh, I, I guess, spoiler alerts, the kid lived. We, we, we ended up fixing him. Um, but um, you know, we, we both went into this house and we, picked the kid up, we took him to the truck, and uh, all we could really do is flood this kid with oxygen, and we're both looking at each other, and he's yelling at me to do stuff, and I'm yelling at him not to yell at me, and we're both yelling at the kid to breathe. Um, and then afterwards, you know, we we both – took a second that's the first time we've we've ever we we're talking afterwards it's the first time we've ever run a patient into the hospital um and there, there's we always joke about like you know the uh the professional the professional calm nobody ever runs on the scene of a of a medical emergency uh but we sprinted into the hospital with this kid on the stretcher and um uh so i guess the long story short is <clears throat> i freaked out because there was stuff that i was thinking about doing that i saw that he wasn't doing um and i figured that he wasn't doing it for a reason um and he freaked out because he's got a kid and that's, you know, the the worst nightmare of, of anybody that I work with is is their own child being in the situation um, of the patients that we're treating, and and I've I've watched plenty of people die, and it's never bothered me before, uh, as long as they're strangers, as long as they're, you know, someone different, um, but. In the last few months, there's been a couple situations where, uh, you know, I've, I've had to really test myself um, and put faces to names and names to situations. Um, and I've, I've learned that I've, I've got a lot more growing to do. Um, if I'm going to survive in this career. <laughs>